Okay. This is the fig variety called brown turkey. It's not actually anything to do with Turkey. It's from Southwest Asia, the country must be Iran. And that grows there. And in Mediterranean it has a spread there. And uh, this is part of the culture that people eat it uh, with tea or with anything. They use it in jam making and other things. Okay, this is the um, yeah, second year of this. I planted this in February 2014. It gave some fruits, but the fruits fell because obviously they were too early. Too late in the September, October, I think it was. Now, this is May, and these fruits were here since the April. And the way that they're growing, and I think if the summer keeps as warm as it is now, we will have a first crop this year in September or October. Otherwise, they may just fall. But I'm hoping to have some fruits here. Yeah, it looks about 20 to 30 figs here. And I'm looking forward to that. Just want to show you this. I'm helping you to focus. Yeah, they, they really look bigger than even yesterday. So something is going on here. I have to contain it, of course, as you know, you have to contain the figs, putting them in a proper slab based. Otherwise, you have to grow in a pot because they're very vigorous. If they go wild, I had that experience in the past. They go really big roots and then the shallow roots are shallow. They just may not give any fruit to you. But when you contain it, the tree always feels that it is near the end of its life. So all the time it's struggling and that's what the fertilizer with the potassium, high potassium does also with our tomatoes and other things. Makes them to feel that they're dying and during the death, even the people do that. During the death, they release the sperm. That is what happens naturally. And now this tree also has released this DNA in the form of the fruit. So, but we don't let it to die. We just keep it like that and then there'll be fruit on next year. So the roots are contained. This is cruel <laughs> how we do this with the plants, unfortunately. It may look cruel. Yeah, fig. If I keep this as warm as possible, including using this netting, windbreak, and also the bird net, the atmosphere is a little bit warmer than outside, two or three degrees all the time warmer. So, hoping that this will help to have a of the fig. This is the fig tree that we have and as you see these little figs are just grown in the August and I think probably next year they will give us something if they don't fall during the winter of course. These are embro embro <laughs> embroidal whatever embro it's babies practically in the fetus. But the figs of the this year they are growing well. This one is actually ripening. And look at the size of it. It's a respectful size. And confirm this has a good size. It's almost like a medium sized apple, a small to medium sized apple. Or like a pear, actually. The shape of it is like a small pear. This is beautiful. This is a success for us. In the second year that we have this fig, fig tree. I have more fig trees and uh, they are in the pot. I don't have the space for planting them because they need a special care. You have to build a concrete slab around the root ball. Uh, practically con constrain the root of the fig. Otherwise, it goes just vigorous and gives vegetation instead of the instead of the food that we want. This is the fig uh, variety brown turkey, as they call it. Uh, it's of course Kurdish. And, uh, they grow in the warm regions in the southwest Asia in Mediterranean. 
Uh, this one is, as the name suggests, is brown now and is ready to harvest. Susan, do you want to cut it and just uh, see how, if you can har uh, harvest and taste it? That's quite large for a fig, I must say. Can I see this? How, how big it is in your hand? Oh, yeah. That is very big. That is the size of a small pear, a medium pear. Can you put it beside one of those pears just to compare? We have a pear here. Pear. Okay, that's a small pear and it's bigger than that. Okay, now do you want me to taste it? No? No, it needs to be washed. Okay. Oh, my hands are dirty. Okay. So we taste it later. We'll in... taste it later. Oh. One by one are getting ready. And now we are going to harvest this one. This is massive, the size of a pear. And there are several ones uh, which will be ready probably in a few days' time or in a week. That one also. This is the fig variety Syrian brown. We are tasting it. Oh, look at it. It's huge, the size of a medium sized pear. No, you don't eat like that. Oh, why are you eating like that? You don't know at all how to eat fig, do you? You eat the whole thing. You don't... <laughs> you are going to scoop the middle. <laughs> like this. Like this. You are going to eat... <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. You can eat with the skin or without the skin. It's up to you. Uh, I don't mind the skin. The skin is actually part of the delicacy. Ah. How is it's it? Lovely. Is it? This Ooh. is other half of yours. Yeah. <laughs> you were, you were, you were scooping. <laughs> oh my goodness! It's better than anything, anything that... I've eaten. Okay. And now I'm going to harvest, uh, taste this one. Are we for it? I want to take some photographs. Oh. It's so nice. Oh. Oh. Okay, I'm going now to taste it. This is the first harvest of this. Oh! This is like the things that when I was a kid we were using. Oh my god. This is really good. Oh, sweet. So sweet, like a jam. Mmm. <laughs> Forgive me. Yeah. These English people don't know how to, <laughs> to eat the <this> fig. <laughs> they skin the fig. <laughs> I'm going to eat the fig. <laughs> they skin the fig. <laughs> I'm going to laugh.